Hi. Uh, my name is Leonardo, but I go by Quinn. Um, because when I was in Australia, on my travels, uh, I went on a spirit walk, and I was down by the river, and then out of nowhere, this like, beautiful, majestic wallaby came up to me, and it, when I looked into its eyes, I saw myself and my soul, and then he got shot by some guy named Quinn, and I liked the name, so I took it. Out, I will ask you to leave. Yeah, well, I own a bike shop, and what I mean by that is that, like, I sell um, bikes and bike accessories, like bells and bell clips and other stuff for bikes. Hello, how are you, sir? I love helping customers. I think it's probably the most important thing a bike owner can do for another bike owner. Um, you know, like, if they need a bike part, then I can give them that bike part. Uh, not for free though because you do need to have American money to purchase something here um, and I do empathize American because a guy did try to sneak a foreign coin on me once and I don't play that so I kicked him out of the store and he's not allowed back we have his picture out front okay so this is Tara she's named after my great grandmother Abling who went crazy in her old age and started referring to herself as Tara, a Dominican prostitute. So it made Thanksgivings awkward, so we had to put her in the home. Barney and friends, Barack Obama, Harry Potter, Charlotte, Miranda, Carrie, Samantha, Sex and City, Princess Diana, Hermione Granger. This one I call Parisa because when I went to Iran, um, I met a girl named Parisa who I went on a couple of dates with. Um, and then I found out she was not a female but a male human. We still Skype though. Dennis Quaid, Ron Weasley. This one is Lady Gaga. And then Hagrid because he's taller. Chewbacca, Chantel, and Prince William. This one I call Boofin, um, because of a, when I was on my travels in Albania, um, I was biking through the forest at sunrise, like I always do when I'm in Albania, and I saw a black figure, and so my first thought was Voldemort, and then I thought, well, he's fictional. so. I fell off my bike due to fright, and a woman named Boofin came over and nursed me back to health. So it's definitely my favorite bike. Um, whenever customers come up to me and ask me about my three bikes, uh, Parisa, Tara, and my love Boofin, I tell them to leave the store. Um, my employees say I should just take them home, but that's when I tell them to go eat shit. Um, okay, because like one. I like the bikes to be around other bikes. And two, do you know what happens to bikes in garages? Rust. They rust. That's like wrinkles for a human on a bike. Um, and no one wants to sleep with someone with wrinkles. So do you want my bikes to become crazy cat ladies? No. That's when I tell my employees to go die. I'm really into nature and shit, 
Um, as you can tell, um, I just really like the outdoor places of places, um, the areas. Like when I go out to eat, I always ask to sit on the porch. Um, I just really enjoy it. And you know, I would have to say the forest is just one of my favorite places of all time because trees are my favorite plant. And uh, cause you know, without trees, then we would not be alive to experience the outside. So it's, it's really just like the earth's lungs, you know, and that's how I think of it. And, um, you know, so that's really why I just, I love nature so much. Just be Fuck. That was a really big one. So like, this is where the caution area is. They say we're not allowed to go here, but I like to think of myself as a rebel. So I usually just hop over. So. Never mind, it's all muddy on this side. So, um, I started biking when I was 15, and then when I was 16, I felt like it was time to take the training wheels off. So, I mean, I was a bit of a late bloomer. Um, even with like puberty and stuff, I didn't really get body hair until around 15 when I started biking. I think that's why I really just wanted to do it. Um, and my father, I blame him because he never took the time to teach me. Um, he was always busy with work and cheating on my dear mother. So, you know, I, I had to teach myself, but it hasn't been too bad, I would say. Um, I mean, I, I'm not like an expert or anything, but, you know, not to sound modest or anything, but I am going to a tournament. It's called the MS-150. It's a 150-mile uh, bike ride or something like that to end multiple scolars or some sort of disease. Um, so, you know... But you know, I don't I don't do this for sport. You know, I don't do this for the glory or the fame. I do it because I love it and it is just I a, a passion that I have inside of me. I also do it for girls. I get laid 3 times a year. So, I hired a new girl to um help with the shop because I'm like really busy with tournaments and stuff at the moment so um hopefully today is her first day so I'm gonna show her in the shop and stuff to get her used to um, my environment and my life and um hopefully she doesn't ruin the dynasty that I have spent the better part of my adult life creating for this town because if she does I will kill her with my bare hands probably not but I'll do something mean. So that's why you never talk to him because he will try to grope you. It's happened. Um, and then here is the most important part of the bike shop. What? The bike. What do you think? It's cool. So this is a stapler. Um, you use it to staple documents, like paper. I know. I'm trying to use it. Um.
used it before. Okay, so then this is where we go to the bathroom. Um, we had one in the shop, but then it got, I tore it down to make more room for my bikes. So if we all just kind of have a corner, so if you wanted to like pick a spot now and mark it as your own, that'd be great. I'm actually, I get the executive spot right over there by the bike rack, so. You, you know, I'll just go across the street to like Starbucks. I just want the world to know that I hate her guts and I want her to leave. Like, if I could come up with a word to describe her, it would be, like, something really mean. And probably, I would probably make it up myself. And it would probably be, like, of Germanic root and have, like, a, a diphthong in it. Like, OU. Or whatever a diphthong is. But it would still be mean. Like. Like, awful. Like, I want her gone. Okay, she's scaring the customers. She's only made like five cells today. Um, which is actually pretty good. But still, she's the customers are important. And she's scaring them and they don't feel comfortable. They've come up to me and told me themselves that they don't like the way she is as a human being. So, I'm gonna, I want her gone. She's awful. So. Jessica, Je can I get some more tea, please? Sure. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Jessica, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Jessica. Where's Boofin? Boofin? Yes, Boofin, the love of my life, my bike. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Jessica, I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is Boofin? Inside? Funny because when I went in there, she was not in there. Did you misplace her? I would not misplace my favorite thing in the entire world. And if I don't find her now, I'm gonna freak out. Okay, like Boofin is missing. Ah, you did this to me. Do you understand that? And my head is itching! Who has been drinking? Who? It itches when I get nervous and mad and you are pissing me off! If I could get up there, I would jump on you. There's nothing else to throw! Move! 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 I'm like 99% sure it's your fault. Get out! Now! Go! If you don't find Booth and you're not coming back. Boofin! Yeah, that was all staged. Um, I used to be an actor in high school, so I knew how to do these things. Um, but I, I put Boofin in a place where she was safe, and I knew that that hag would never look in. Um, my spot of the bathroom. So, I fired her. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> she got me green tea too.